Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. That's the name we give our series of unboxing videos. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am going to be answering is what's in the box when it comes to this game in my hands right now, which is Letter Jam from Czech Games Editions, or CGE. This is a two to six player cooperative card game. Uh, that plays in about 45 minutes. At this point, I have not played this game. This is my first time taking a look at this game. I do have to thank CGE for uh, sending me a review copy. Uh, this is a game that reminds me of Hanabi, where you are going to hold a card in your hand and not be able to see it, as you can see from the back here. That's about all I know about this game. Um, we're going to take a look at what's in the box. All right, here we have Letter Jam, a cooperative word game from CGE. Right from the start, we have pencils. So there is going to be writing involved. There's a lot of neat looking stuff in this box, I gotta say. Like, look at that, there's some interesting stuff in here. So we have sets of uh, black pencils. All right, so one of the first things we find in here are some rainbow colored numbered poker chips, like weighted full poker chips here, rainbow colors, um, numbered all the way through the rainbow. We got, and it looks like they're different fruits. So I, I think that's like a tomato. So again, this is called letter jam. Um, we've got an orange, lemon, lime, uh, kiwi. We're not gonna be able to see this one, but I'm guessing some type of blueberry. Then I don't know what's purple, but something purple, and then a pomegranate in uh, in purple here. These are nice. Like these are fantastic components for a word-based puzzle game. Like I love these. Those are fantastic. All right, that's the first thing we find. Um, in addition to some pencils, we have pencils which I kind of showed off earlier. Next, we have little red and green. Discs, uh, anyone who's played anything else by CG will recognize these components. They tend to use these in all their games. Uh, little plastic discs. No, they look like food. Then we have some stands. Plastic stands. Which I know are to hold the, um, the word cards in front of you. And then not only... Do you get pencils? They included a pencil sharpener. Bonus points there. So pencils and a pencil sharpener in the game. I gotta say, for, for a quick party game, like this, this is the, the highest component quality level I think I've ever seen. Uh, we do have then a bunch of cards. We have the letter cards here, it looks like. I'm gonna remove the shrink on. Oh, I really like the back of these cards. They have uh, the strawberry on it is, uh, we call that UV coated. That's a black star card. And then again, we have UV coating on the back of these white cards with white UV reflective. It's a really nice high quality touch here. And then when we have letters, I don't know what those symbols are. If that's, um, we have a whole bunch of letters, kind of what you'd expect. I don't, I don't know how much there's multiple O's. C's, A's, so I don't know if it's a full alphabet. There's some kind of code at the top that must mean the letters in something. I don't know if that's Braille. It's not, not something you can touch. But there are symbols at the top and the bottom of each letter card. Uh, they also have like the, the letter in all four numbers, so if you hold your hand like a hand of cards, you can actually see the different types. Card quality, these aren't standard size cards. They're kind of longer. Quality's decent. No linen finish, just a matte finish, but decent enough looking cards. There's a huge stack of them here. I'm not sure what the distribution is. Uh, one complaint with how nice everything is here. I have no way to organize any of this. These cards are just going in loose, which is, that that's a bit of a shame. Then I've got some flowers. I had a bunch of flowers. And then on the back, uh, I have no idea. Something that shows the number of players. So we have these flower cards that say 18 to 16, one strawberry. Must be some kind of setup instructions based on the number of players. There are three of those. 
Then we have a pad and a half. That is one of the thickest, I assume, scoring pad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they expect you to play this game a lot. There, there's, I don't know how many. There are a ton of score sheets in here. A ridiculous number of score sheets. Um, it's got the alphabet at the top. Maybe there's no J's, Q's, V's, X's, or Z's because they're, they're grayed out on here. Uh, th that is a thick pad. That is, that is a ridiculously thick pad of scoring sheets. Then we have a CGE catalog. Yeah, Spring 2020 catalog, including some awesome games by CGE. One of my favorite publishers. Big thumbs up for CGE overall. Uh, oh, we have another one of these flower cards with whatever, again, that information on the back is. And then we get to the rules. Nice bonus right there, a QR code for those of us who do not like to read. Um, we got Welcome to the Jam, a list of components, again, with pictures of everything, which is really nice. Uh, we got a really detailed setup image here. Oh, those flowers, you put the crystal beads on them somehow. So if you look in the flowers, there's circles, you would put those beads on them. I have no idea why. Um, there's the poker chips. Here's some examples how to play. Rules look really nice and detailed. Lots of examples. Uh, that's a swapping around going on here. Someone spelled the word table. Uh, whew, we are... I'm confused this because it looks like that's the end, but then it's not. Are the rules assembled? Four, five, six, seven. All right. It just looks weird. They have the credits like before the end of the rules, and they threw me off. Um, so you are looking at, what is this, six pages? They're not numbered. Eight pages with some frequently asked questions on the back. Nice big text. Looks interesting. So I got to say, I am impressed by everything but the lack of the box insert. There is a lot of neat stuff in here. Uh, we got the game rules. I don't care about this catalog. Some really nice cards here, but no way to organize all this stuff. Like the worst is going to be these letter cards that are just going in here loose. And I feel bad about that. I hate tossing things in loose in a box like that. Like they're just going to slide around everywhere. Uh, the scoring pad can kind of hold them in place, but not really. You know what I'm going to do is, before I even put this away, because I am concerned about these cards getting damaged, is I am going to slip them in the baggie that the standees came in. So it at least keeps them in a deck. There we go. Problem solved. These are fantastic. I, I, I want to steal these and put them in other games. Like, look at that. Oh, those are nice. Like, those are these are as nice as the ones in the original printing of Splendor. Nice. Rainbow poker chips. Uh, whatever these little red and green things are. Bunch of standees. Pencils. Pencils. Uh, we have our friend of the show, Red Meeple Ryan, is a huge fan of games that include pencils. This is the first game I've ever seen that also includes a pencil sharpener. Bonus points there, CG. I'm impressed. The components in here are great. Would have liked a better box insert, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. All right. There you have it. Letter Jam from CGE. All right. There you have what you get in the box for Letter Jam from CGE. Uh, big fan of CGE and everything they produce. This did not disappoint. There are some of the best looking components I have ever seen in a party game. For a, a light word based uh, deduction game, cooperative game, um, you don't expect to find what you find in this box. Like there's plastic standees, there are poker chips, there's a huge deck of letter cards, and the thickest scoring pad. Like you're never going to run out. No one's going to play letter jam enough to use that up. Like even if it becomes your favorite game, you're probably going to have two lifetimes worth of scoring cards in there. Uh, two to six players, plays about 45 minutes, pretty long for, uh, for a party game. But maybe that's for a full round instead of individual rounds. Have not played the game. Looks fantastic. Really impressed by the components. Only complaint is I would have liked some type of box insert to try to hold, keep the cards and everything separate from each other. Huge thumbs up for not only including pencils, but a pencil sharpener. Really impressed by what I saw here. That was Letter Jam. And I am Motu's Note, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find our content at TabletopBellhop.com. And all over the internet, on social media as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. If you like this video, be sure to tip the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Links to all that and more can be found right up if you click the I on YouTube. And make sure you smash that subscribe button before you go. Good night and game on.